Hey, that's pretty good. I, how does that happen? I'm actually, I'm so fucking mind blown how this shit happened. What the fuck? Alright lads, so today we're going to be jumping into a Prime Moments Litmanum review. I've got a ton of suggestions lads for icons from the icon swaps, okay? So we're going to start off with Litmanum today because I feel like he was the most requested. This is a card that I have used before lads, so I just will say off the bat, like if you just want a quick verdict on, on Litmanum, is he worth six icon swaps? Uh, yes. Yes, he's worth every one of those six icon swaps. Fucking delicious. Yeah, I used Litmanum for probably two weekend leagues and I just overall really enjoyed him. He's not like the craziest, like most meta card, but what I really liked about him was his shoot. His shooting was fantastic and he's just really really good at like finesse long shots and stuff like that So I think for six icon swaps, he's definitely worth it. So yeah, as we did put together a cheeky team for Litmanen uh, This is not the team. This is uh, this is actually my main team Actually, I will really quickly talk about my main team because we had a phenomenal fuck champs lads It was absolutely amazing I did change this team a little bit and, and some of you guys may notice that a few changes You know Diego Carlos has been put down over here onto the reserves. This is fuck. This is not right. This is not cool This is fucking bullshit. The reason I put Virgil here pretty much lads as I, I had a really weird start to weekend league like I was winning games but I was winning them like 5-4 like I kid you not I was conceding a lot of goals but I was scoring so many like attacker food to Kubo just the absolute legend he was he's scoring bags of goals over Mars as well scoring a ton of goals uh, so yeah we changed the defense purely for that reason I'm not gonna lie lads it, it worked an absolute treat B big Virgil was amazing he, he was uh, he was amazing The only part of the team I'm really not that sold on is Bellerin. Uh, he's not bad, Bellerin. I just feel like he's a little bit too weak. Uh, he was getting pushed off the ball a lot, so I might I might change Bellerin if I can think of someone. Anyway, lads, enough about this team, okay? We did put together this team for Litmanen, okay? And and it's a, it's not a bad little team, if you ask me. So, yeah, lads, I guess we start off with Muriel. Uh, I did the SBC for Muriel. I don't think it's a great card. It's definitely not bad, but it's probably not worth 150k. But, yeah, it is a good card, okay? It's definitely not bad. He's got really nice strength there, great agility, and... and, and in-game dribbling finishing's decent tag visit it's a good card 150k at this stage I don't know. Yeah, that's what we'll do with this team. Okay, we'll switch into a 4 1 2 1 2. I'll play Sissoko at CDM, Veron and Decori as the centre mids. I'll play Litmanen as the Cam and Immobile, and Muriel will play up front. So I'll just quickly jump into these in games, lads, before we get into some gameplay. Okay, so starting things off, for you skillers out there, I've got some sad news. You shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up! I hope you die in a fire! He does have the four star weak foot, which, if I'm being totally honest, out of all of the four star weak foot players I've used, Litmanen is by far the best one on his left foot. His left foot is absolutely amazing for some reason. He feels like a five-star weak foot. He rarely misses on the weak foot. As for his traits, he has the finesse shot trait and the outside the foot trait. The finesse shot trait just makes total sense. I'm telling you guys, this guy's finesse shots outside the box, they are lethal. They are absolutely lethal. So yeah, so you've got a card here that's got some really good stats. He does have some stats that aren't great, but uh, you know, it's definitely, I think for six icon swaps, this is a phenomenal card, okay? There's there's definitely stats here that, that need some work, and I feel like the engine chem style is the perfect chem style here. Maxing out that dribbling and pace, which is great. Anyway, let's just start off with the pace. The pace is all right. It's nothing crazy, but it is decent. Like I was saying, lads, the shooting is what you want this card for, okay? If you if you want a cam that's just good at shooting, this is the guy, okay? 97 attack and positioning, 95 finishing, 90 long shots. It's filth. It's pure, unadulterated filth. The passing stats are very decent, very solid stuff. The dribbling, the dribbling is kind of a mixed bag, okay? So you've got you've got incredible ball control, you've got great reactions, incredible composure, but then you've got not the best agility, not the best balance, and not the best in-game dribbling. But like I said, I think the engine chem style is the perfect chem style here. It does boost a lot of that. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys, he doesn't feel amazing on the ball. He doesn't feel bad, he does feel a little bit stiff though, okay? So if you want, if you're looking for more of a, a technical dribbler, someone that's really good on the ball, you want to be going with loud dropping this icon swaps or you want to be going with like over Mars cards like that this card is not a dribbler he's a shooter he is he is a he is a guy that you get the ball with and you shoot with that is what Litmanen is all about and then to finish off he has pretty good stamina and not bad strength so overall like I said I think for six icon swaps this is without a doubt like an absolute bargain if you don't do the skill moves you'll love this card I reckon the dribbling's a little bit iffy but uh, it just overall it, it's a great card so anyway let's I'm not gonna waste any more of your time which we'll I'm straight into some division rival gameplay fingers cross we can carry over some of that fuck champions form into rivals but you knowing me I'll be shit as always and you guys will clown me in the comments for being bad at the game so let's jump into game number one wait 
Lippmann in that incredible gotcha, position. What a turn! What a finish! That turn was amazing. So that was a fucking lie. Look at that tart. Look, what straight past the defender. That was amazing. And the attacking positioning was phenomenal there too. Virgil, come on. Yeah, I really like Virgil right now. Lippmann play that through. What a pass. Beautiful, bro. We should get an easy sweat here to Muriel. Lovely. No, no! Muriel. Thank you. Thank you. Nearly fucked that up somehow. Oh, we're getting a reach for it. Nice and early. I'm fucking leaving! Well, yeah, lads, that was a very quick game. It wasn't very long. But to be fair, the goal that Lippmann scored was absolutely fire. An amazing turn and a great finish. And really good positioning from, from him, which, which is obviously great. So, yeah, lads, fingers crossed that we get a little bit of a longer game in the next one. So let's jump into game number two. What a ball, Muriel. Look at that pace from me. Oh. oh, what a Muppet! What an idiot! <laughs> Let's go! That was. I love it. I love it. That's nice. Nice little touch. Limonen feels a little bit better on the ball than I remember. Oh, hello. Limonen, ref, that's awful. His dribbling is way better than like when I used him before. If he ate patch dribbling or something. Oh, that's a bit of aid. That's a lot of aids. Limonen! Limonon! How did he get there? How did he get that? That's ridiculous. That was that was good. I'm so stoked, my dude. Yeah, that's uh, Lippmann is doing bits and he's making people rage quit. I mean, that's that's a good as that's a good of a compliment to a player that, that you can get if you're making people rage quit. I, I have to say, like this Lippmann, he feels so much better on the ball than what I remember. Like, I don't know if it's the opponents I'm playing because I will be totally honest. These two opponents, you know, they weren't they weren't giving me the craziest games. You know, they weren't defending great. It, it reminded me a little bit of myself actually yeah he felt really good on the ball though like seriously the way the way he was like moving and, and maneuvering players was really good way better than I remembered and it feels a lot quicker he got to that ball uh, for the second goal absolutely outpaced that defender which is sick so yeah let's jump into one more game okay with Lippmann and fingers crossed that this guy doesn't quit on us uh, in the first few minutes of the game so we can get a proper feel for Lippmann but so far Lippmann's being sick so uh, you know I can't promise that because he might make another one rage quick so let's jump into game number three what the fuck? What the fuck? Did it? This is Soaks. Play it back. Ah, come on, Michel. We're playing shit. 22 minutes in, we've barely created a chance. Let me know. Should I just hit it? Fuck it, hit it. Oh! What? <laughs> How? That was hit with so much venom. Come on, Muriel. Let's get that pace. That's a great touch. Play. Ah, oh, a bit. that's so much aids. Come on. Come on, Muriel. No, Muriel, you got... Yes! Yes! Muriel. Right, play. Lippmann, easy finish. Come on, Lippmann. Great goal. Re Again, like, with, with, with Lippmann, the thing is, you don't really need to dribble that much with this card because he finds himself in these... Mate, Lippmann, trying to talk. Get on my face. He, he finds himself in incredible positions to just be able to shoot straight away. I love it. In fact, it makes me really horny. Come on, left back. Good lad. Beautiful stuff. And to Lippmann. Nice, wait. Lippmann hit that, left foot! Did he save that? Did he fucking save that? I see you, Lippmann. I see you, mate. I see you. What a run. Good touch. Nicely done. Wait. Wait. Come on. He's on side, right? Chip it over. That's not the chip I wanted. Lippmann! <laughs> oh, shit. No, come on. We've held this lead for so long. I've not conceded today. Virgil! There you go, Virgil. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Right, 10 minutes. we got to get a second goal because I've just got a feeling that I don't trust me. I just know I'll fuck it up somehow. No, Dav. I can't play a change! No! I knew it! I freaking knew it! I knew I'd bottle it! I have crippling depression. Nice inception from Veron. Play a mobile. Back to Lippmann and come on. Nice! Lippmann and Nippos! No! How? What is this guy doing? This guy's on crack! Lippmann and... I mean... I'm on, no! Is that... No! Oh, we had it, Drew. I had so many chances. Lippmann and literally kept hitting the woodwork in the most unlucky way. The ceiling's soft, the floor's soft, the walls are soft. 
and to an extent, the air is soft. Well, overall, boys and girls, I have to say, like, I thought Lippmann played really, really good in all of the games that he played. I do understand that this is a cam that not everyone is going to like, okay? If you do like the, the dribbling type players, you know, if you want someone that doesn't feel stiff on the ball, uh, not that Lippmann felt that stiff today. He actually felt really good. But uh, if you're if you're looking for more of a meta cam, Loudrop is your guy, okay? But if you want, if you just want someone that's really, really good at shooting, really, really good at positioning, uh, you know, Lippmann is your guy. It just all depends on what kind of cam you're looking for, okay? For me, I personally slightly prefer Lippmann. I really love his shooting on this card. Left foot, right foot, and his positioning, and just everything about the shooting on this card, I think, is amazing. I don't think he's bad at dribbling. I don't think he's slow. He's not, he's just not that quick and he's not that good at dribbling if that makes sense. Also with Lippmann you have to remember that he is only a free soft skiller so if you are a skiller you're not going to like Lippmann and you want to go with someone like Laudrup. I think we'll be doing a Gattuso moments review next. I think that's the icon we will be doing. Uh, if not we might do a Lampard. One of the two. Yeah let's, if you did enjoy smash the like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one alright. Peace.